Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to tame down that twitchy throttle. So if you're watching this video, you probably have a bike that uh, has a pretty twitchy throttle response on it, like this CRF450L, and you're considering buying a throttle tamer to try and uh, get a handle on the throttle response. Well, Throttle Tamer is a good product, and I'm not going to say anything negative about them. Uh, if you've got the money, uh, they have all kinds of different cam options, and I'm sure it'll help you out with your problem. But if you're like me, and you're a DIY person, and you like to save money, then this video is going to help you out. What I'm going to show you how to do is to open up your throttle and make some modifications to the cam on your, on your stock throttle uh, so that you get a similar result as a Throttle Tamer for zero dollars with all your stock parts. So taking your stock throttle off is pretty self-explanatory. It's really just, on this bike at least, two nuts, take the, or two bolts, take these two bolts loose, pull this rubber sleeve loose, the handguard has to come off out of the way, and once these two halves come apart and your cables are unhooked, your throttle will slide completely off the bike it's like a two minute job to take that off once you get it off i've got some pictures here and i'm going to walk you through the modification it's pretty simple to do once you got your throttle off this is what it's going to look like it's just a completely round uh, pulling surface there the principle of this mod is that you straighten out the very first part of the pull so that instead of pulling around the circle it's actually pulling in a straight line and so what we're wanting to do is just flatten out the very first part of that throttle pull I use a Dremel tool with a uh, spiral cut bit on it and all you're going to do is just put a flat that that cable will ride in from where the cable attaches to the throttle out from it so now that when you pull the throttle, it's pulling more linear than it is around that circumference for the very first part of the throttle response. And that's all there is to it. Once you get that done, just lube it up real good, uh, put your cables back together, put your throttle back together, and you're finished. All right, so that's all there is to making the mod. You're gonna get a, a similar uh, result that you would with the throttle tamer. Um, not completely the same because the throttle tamer does have uh, a more of a buildup at the end of the the, uh, the throttle twist uh, so that it, it actually comes on stronger towards the end, uh, less at first and stronger towards the end. With uh, this DIY mod, it's going to come on uh, a little bit less strong at the beginning and then kind of consistent throughout the roll of the throttle. So uh, it's not going to be exactly the same, but for free, uh, it's a pretty good result, I think. So I hope this helped you out. If you like these videos, I try and keep them short and informative and save you money where I can. Uh, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.